All right. Hey guys, welcome back to another DOY Creations video. I am Jeanette, aka Soraya. And before I get started, I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yah. All right, guys. So I am getting ready to stop in to share with you guys uh, some of my finished makes. Okay. All of these items are completed. They pretty much just one of a kind. So I wanted to stop in to share with you guys today. But before I start talking really, really quickly, how is everyone doing today? I hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Okay. All right, guys. So I have been making some uh, baseball caps, um, baseball caps hats. Okay. And so I was inspired. I think I shared with you guys on a previous video how I was just browsing, uh, you know, Etsy and seeing, just getting inspired what other people was making. And I thought I'll just be, you know, tap in and do the same thing. So I was watching someone and they was making, they had baseball caps. And I was like, oh, I haven't made these in a while. Now, this is not a new pattern or nothing new that I'm making. Uh, I've made these several times. So uh, it just inspired me to go ahead and start making them again. Let me apologize in advance about my lighting. I have my ring light on the side right here and my window open, but the lighting still seems like it's still not all that great. Any case guys, so this is my first item that I would like to share with you guys. I have a tutorial in my playlist how to create uh, these types of hats. I also have in my playlist, uh, if you want to make these spiral earrings, but this is the first one up. Isn't she lovely? I figured you could just throw on these hats. And what I like about my hats are, I like my thick brims. I love my brims, okay? And um, so I think you just put on some nice glasses, sunglasses, and boom, there you have it. I love this color. I think it's so appropriate for the summer and um, spring and summer. This is the rest of the yarn that I have left over. Maybe I'll just sit it up here. Can you sit right there for a second? Uh, I went on and caked up the rest of the yarn. I'm getting ready to do all these different type of challenges that we have out. Uh, and so I caked up the rest of the yarn. And this yarn is from Red Heart. Let's grab my glasses. This is Red Heart with Love. Okay. Red Heart with Love. And the colorway, if you're interested, is Water Lily. And that is the color. Water Lily. And again, it's Red Heart Yarn with Love. So it's a really, really pretty yarn. And I work better. Well, I'm going to work regardless how I do things. But I like to just cake it up. And I think it just condense or, you know, make the um, yarn more smaller. So that is the first one. But I didn't stop there. Let's put your yarn where you're supposed to go. I went on and made another one. And here she is. Boop. Isn't that lovely? Let's bring you down just a tad bit more. But I really love that color. I love how it looks. I love the spiral earrings. I hate when I don't have them evenly. Because it seems like one earring be longer than the other one. But anyway, those are the spiral earrings. Because I do have some more yarn left, I might see how to, in my glare you can see the ring light. That's why people don't like to wear glasses. When they have their ring light on because that ring light. But anyway, so this is number two of the baseball um, cap with the spiral earrings. And again, so, so, so appropriate for, let's put you right here. They're not going to be able to see you. And I caked the rest of this yarn up too. Even though I don't know where I was pulling from. It was just, it, it became a little hot mess, but um, so this is the rest of that yarn right there. I don't know how well you can see it. But anyway, 
yeah it has it looks like a little blue but this is purple teal uh beige in like a tan color but it looks a little bluish on the screen this yarn is by loops and thread it is silky soft and the colorway for this one here is called lavender blues lavender blues loops and thread silky soft and i'm sure this one came from probably um probably some happy mail that someone blessed me with but i didn't even stop there guys i was just on a roll with making them and here is number three number three how are you doing so that's number three i love it i don't think you can ever go wrong with blue jeans right guys and like i said i have some i have some of this yarn left and i will probably be making um the circle earrings i might i might not i don't know i got so many earrings guys they are they are a lot okay i have a lot and here's the cake to that yarn y'all this a messed up cake but hey it's it's cool all right this one is from yarn b uh soft secret this is ombre and this is a blueberry hill the name of that color is a blueberry hill in case you are interested and you know purchasing this one here i got this one on sale anytime that you can grab them on sale i think the regular yeah the regular price was 4.99 and as you can see i paid a dollar and 24 for it okay which is a great great price guys so i have that caked up so those are the three hats and earrings that i made uh, i make hat and scarves in the winter but hats and earrings in the summer I share with you guys. Let me just turn a little bit. Y'all, y'all just seen my video. If you didn't see my video, check out my video. I'll leave it probably down below where, oh, I put it in the iCard. I did a reorganization in my craft room trying to organize my yarn uh, a little bit better so I can be able to flow when I'm creating things. Uh, but one thing I want to share with you guys, mindful crafts and more had has a challenge i think it's over with now i don't know uh it was called the three blessings challenge i'll still leave her link down below and i share with you guys my luv for love um these are made using 100 percent cotton yarn this is in using ice yarn and i share with you guys that i was going to be joining them together i joined them i got a little um I made a little chain across to, to have it as hanging. And yeah, it just says love. And I absolutely love it. I just have it right here as part of my yarns decor. Because yes, I love yarn. Um, I don't know if I'm going to connect this and just make it an O. And then just go ahead and add the E. Most likely, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and just connect this. Make it a um a O and then just add the letter uh V. But I did went on and finished that on up and I absolutely love it. It feels good. It's cotton, it's in ice, and it's just it's gorgeous. It brings joy to me. It absolutely brings me joy. And I could just open it up and look at my yarn. This top shelf. Now, these crates y'all see right here, these totes you guys see right here, you guys didn't see it in the video. You guys just seen, I think only thing that y'all seen was this white bookcase. But as y'all can see, I got yarn there, and I brought a lot of the yarn over here, up there, up there. And I still got yarn in the back right here, guys. But we ain't about that. We just talking about all my finished items. And that is part of my finished products, okay? Also, guys, if you missed my video on Friday about talking about the three challenges that everyone has going on, it's a whole lot of 
hashtag challenges going on. I named three people that I'll be, um, you know, taking part of their challenges. And so make sure if you missed that video, I'll drop it down below and see if you want to be a part of these challenges. Again, the hashtag cardigan, crochet cardigan challenge is still going on. It's in full effect. I will be coming back on a separate video, giving you guys a, uh, a time frame what I'm going to be uh, picking a winner for the first set of gifts. And then I'm going to do a, maybe like in the fall, do another one because this is too short of a notice. But in any case, um, this cardigan is still, you know, going on. I want to make another one, but I would not make it, you know, this big. This one here is definitely, definitely for fall and winter. I am going to enjoy wearing this in the fall and the winter. Um, but I will be making me another one for now for the spring and the summertime. So stay tuned to see the next one I'm making. Because when I was seeing all you guys, I was like, y'all really got a lot of spring and summer uh, cardigans. So I'm definitely going to be making another cardigan uh, for spring. No, it, it'll be ready by the summer. Okay. And it's going to be probably like an open stitch or something like that. But I definitely want to get another one under my belt. All right, guys, that is all that I wanted to stop in to share with you guys today. Please let me know what you guys think of my baseball caps. I really love that. And actually, guys, I worked on all three of these at the same time. I did not make one, then start another one, then make the sack one, then start another one. I worked on all three of them at the exact same time. I knew I wanted, actually, I was going to work on five. But I was like, you know what, let's do three and pause yourself so you don't burn yourself out, you know, making it. I'll burn myself out, guys, with making certain things. Yeah, I will. Anyway, guys, thank you again for tuning in to another DOY Creations video. I appreciate it so, so very much. If you enjoy the hats with the earrings, the finished love concoction that I got going over here, my little uh, banner over there. And also, you know, continue on with the hashtag crochet card again. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit your bell settings to all. Drop me a comment down below. Share. Do all the stuff that we all need. Okay. All right, guys. Until next video. Always remember, y'all, some 68.4 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. Bye for now.